also seen the reporting from our own precinct organization. In fact, we made it public from over 1,200 precinct locations. And what we saw is extraordinary. The support that we got in rural areas, suburban areas, and urban areas, in Democratic counties and counties that voted for Trump. Uh, it, for a campaign that a year ago, I think a lot of people were questioning what right we even had to, to do this and to make the attempt. And so uh, it's clearly a victory for us, even as we, along with the, I think the, the whole country, impatiently wait for some official results from the party. I understand declaring a moral victory or, or, or beating expectations or being surprised you ever got this far, but it, it did sound as if you were trying to make the claim that you were the official winner last night. And what are your concerns, given the environment, the electoral environment we're in, where we just need to trust results? Why not wait to hear for sure? Well, we're going to hear the official results, and uh, again, that can't come soon enough. But uh, what we saw and what our precinct information revealed, our, our data throughout the campaign, uh, is that we had the momentum and stepped on that plane victorious on our way to New Hampshire. Do you feel as if you won the most first preference votes or the most state delegate equivalent? So again, we've, we've shared the data that we have, and it looks good on all fronts. We're waiting for the official information to come in, but by any reckoning, we had an extraordinary night that is propelling us toward a win in New Hampshire. And we can also tell by the profile of where our support was that we've been able to make good on this idea that the way to build a, a winning organization now is also what we need to do in order to beat Donald Trump.